let's see how LEQ with different weighting filters changes over time, going through a frequency change in octave bands. In this example, we will use filters A, C, and Z with time weighting set to fast. Our journey begins with a frequency of 31.5 Hz. At this point, you might be thinking, is there any sound at all? Well, don't worry. The human ear isn't equally sensitive to all frequencies. It's less sensitive to those low frequency rumbles, and that's where A weighting comes into play. Marked green in our example. It's the most commonly used curve defined in the international standard IEC. A weighting is valid to represent the sensitivity of the human ear as a function of the frequency of pure tones. For comparison Z or zero frequency weighting is a flat frequency response between 10 Hz and 20 kHz. Below 1 kHz, A weighting attenuates the sound levels. But when we hit 1 kHz, there's no gain or attenuation. Between 1 and about 6 kHz, A weighting actually amplifies the sound levels by a few decibels. Why you ask? Well, this range happens to correlate with the frequencies of human speech. So, it boosts the frequencies that are most important for communication. But when we venture beyond 6 kHz and into the higher frequencies, A weighting once again kicks in to attenuate the sound levels. So, there you have it, the waiting filters in a nutshell. Thanks for joining us today.